Hey guys, Kirk from Kirk Allen Trucking here, and today we have a special guest. We have John here from Tammany Ridge, and he's going to help us get this tree moved out of the way. Yep, uh, this tree's now been here for about 20 years, and it's getting older and older. It's got a little bit of blight on it, so I thought it would be probably a, be a good idea if we could move it out of the way. John here was working next door, and I said, hey, you know what? I wonder if I can get that guy to come over and help me move this tree. And I went over and John and I started talking about it and I found out that John has a YouTube channel as well. So how do they find you, John? If you, uh, if you go on your uh, you know search engine on YouTube and just type in Mount Tammany Ridge, um, I should come up. There's gonna be a lot of things that come up that are related to the actual Mount Tammany Ridge uh, and the Delaware Water Gap itself, uh, mainly the trail system. However, uh, Mount Tammany Ridge, you just look it up and uh, I should come up. Well, there's about 1,500 Kirk Allens. I don't know why. Every time I try to put Kirk Allen in, it seems like such a different name, but there's a lot of us. So anyway, so what are we going to do here? I think I have a plan of how I wanted to see it, uh, but John's got two pieces of equipment here. He's got a skid steer with forks and a bucket, and he also has an excavator here. So yeah, we're just going to kind of... Uh, we're going to be using two pieces of equipment today. We're going to be using my mini excavator to prep the... The new home and we're also going to be using my skid steer behind a camera here with the forks and we're hoping that we're going to be able to burrow the forks in and pop it up out of the ground uh, and bring as much dirt with us as possible but you know mainly we're going to be using the excavator for you know prepping the new home for the tree uh, now it's going to be a little bit easier to you know manipulate any rocks we might bump into or and things like that but i think as for this little part of the project here along the foundation the forks should do just fine. Um, so we're gonna kinda roll on forward here with the project and um, we'll bring you guys along and hopefully we can entertain you a little bit. Let's, let's get these machines fired up and uh, see, see what we can do. Yeah, let's right, get man, it done, let's, man. Let's, let's get it done. Just go big in this way we know we don't have a problem it's up to you dude i'll yeah. do whatever you think let's of. let's go ahead and take another two feet off this side two feet.
that's good. Okay. Alright, well we got the whole dog up and uh, John did a nice job on that. So now we're going to get to the tree part and we're going to dig that thing up. I think I would come in deep and then kind of get up up near the scoop it. Come up a little bit, John. There you go. All right, hold on one sec. I'm gonna throw the strap around your around the front of your forks. So just so we know, this is an ocean approved, right? Pretty nice John to let us use his machine. Hey John and Mike, do you think you want to leave the strap on so when you back on, back out, the strap will pull the trunk towards you to keep the base like dumped? That's not a bad idea. Yeah, just let the leverage kind of like let that slide out, yeah, keep that straight instead of it just saying, oh, bye. Yeah. Yeah, so let's throw that strap back on. Yeah, there you go. Just do a single. Yep. Hey, John, can you turn the tree around? I like the other side better. <laughs> <laughs> I kind of figured you'd say that. <laughs> hey, you even saved the bird nest. Yeah, oh, did we? Yeah, there's a bird nest up in the side there, yeah. Okay. Sorry, Mike. Yeah. Oh yeah, there it's going. Okay. That's 
a pretty good filler. So they're calling it deer controls and backhoe controls. Yeah, so you got uh, deer control, backhoe control, you got like ISO, and then there's... Because I always thought it was deer or cat. Yeah, there's uh, there's a whole bunch of different, you know, things that they call it. Because when I think of backhoe controls, I was running case. So right. basically I had a handful of knobs. Yeah. I think I had five knobs because I had extender hose. Yeah. All right. All, All right. right. So, yeah. So uh, we're, yeah. Well, we're we're both talking at the same time because we're both videoing. <laughs> we're both doing YouTube videos. Let's, let's make this complicated, right? <laughs> yeah. As complicated as possible. <laughs> uh, so here it is. Hey, take a look. Uh, tree has been moved successfully. Yeah. Yeah, they did. I think you did a great job, John. You know, John and I have been able to kind of talk to each other throughout this whole process. You know, kind of going through construction equipment firewood and trees and neighborly love and YouTube and we've been able to kind of talk a little bit about all the different things that we do on a daily basis and it's really been a kind of a cool uh, a cool way of doing some work around the house and getting to know somebody that's really not too far away from me he's kind of my neighbor and I never knew it so if you see here on a shirt he's got YouTube on there and that was my first thought I'm like oh hey John are you a youtuber and he says oh yeah YouTube and I checked out his channel which I hope you guys do too and the channel name is Mount Tammany Ridge and that make sure you get the right guy recognize the beard yeah that'll be that'll be the first day I'm like oh wait that's not him and I said oh that's him I saw the beard and I knew right away who it was and of course uh, you know go over there watch some of his videos I was attracted to him right away he does some really cool stuff with firewood and that kind of thing I became a subscriber right away John's one of those youtubers also if you comment he's likely gonna comment he's watching what you guys are up to and seeing if you enjoy his videos there's a lot of youtubers out there I'll go and watch their videos I'll be like hey man great job I really enjoyed your video and it's like it's like almost like somebody turned the light switch off on me but John's not like that. John's gonna, you know, he's interactive with uh, the community, and that that's really cool. So I'm happy to be part of your community, John. Yeah, yeah, um, I'm I'm happy you know you're part of the community too, and uh, it's uh, it's really cool. Um, you know, I've been posting YouTube videos for about three years now, and uh, there's probably 300 and something videos that I've posted, and through the the years that I've been doing YouTube. I really haven't run into a whole lot of other YouTubers in this area hmm. uh, up until this past year. This past year, I've been kind of, you know, stumbling across some other YouTubers. So yeah, it's uh, it's really a, a, an awesome community. Um, it does, uh, you know, when you local YouTubers, you know, when you're local amongst one another, 
you know, try to kind of seek each other out. Um, it really helps tighten up the community. And like, uh, like Kirk was saying, you know, you begin to know who your neighbors are and you begin to sort of uh, collaborate together, not just as YouTubers, but just as neighbors in a community. And, you know, when it comes to yard projects and things like this, you can kind of lean on one another for whatever specialties it is that you might have to offer. Yeah, I agree. I totally agree. And, you know, when you're doing the camera work, there's a lot of times when you're working with another YouTuber, it's kind of cool to be able to say, hey, hold on a second. Can I attach my camera in this position or, or yeah. can I get over here? Can I do this? Because he's aware of the shots that we want to get. Right. And it's kind of cool. Those videos, when you can get everybody that's involved in the project kind of involved in the video. And I know we're kind of getting off the tree. But it's kind of interesting too because this is more than just a tree planting. Right. Uh, this, just like this tree is gonna grow, we're hoping our YouTube channels grow, and uh, it's kind of fun to right. be able to say, "Hey, man, hey, you mind if I put my camera here?" And it's like, "Wow, I would have never thought to put my camera there, but now that I've seen it done, right. I'm gonna, edit, I'm gonna put that in my other video. We're gonna let this plane pass over. We're having planes fly over like crazy, and from what I understand, uh, someone told me that they're seeding." Uh, seeding fields. With oh, is that what's going that's, on? They're, that's they're, what they're they, doing crops. So stuff? you probably okay. saw a few planes go up and over a few times. So that's their their crop field. Uh, I guess dusting crops is what they used to call it. Yeah. Right? Well, now I think they're seeding their crops. I don't know what's interesting. Coming. Yeah, I don't know, but uh, but anyway, looking planes anyway. Yeah, they're cool <laughs> planes. Anyway, getting back to it. Uh, hey, we really appreciate you guys watching. It's a lot of fun to do these kind of projects. Uh, this is around the house. It was great meeting you, John. Yes. Uh, John, I want to shut the cameras off and I want to turn them back on. I got a little something for you. John, we really appreciate you. And we're, as uh, I hope to be part of your community, I want you to be part of our community. This is a Kirk Allen Trucking uh, t shirt. I thought I'd just grab it for you. Oh, man. And of course, I got to pay John. <laughs> That's all part of it. That's awesome. That's a beautiful shirt, man. That's so, real sharp know, looking. Yeah, so we. Uh, we appreciate you coming out and doing the work for us. And I, I thought, you know, I was thinking about you when I was coming up to work today. I'm like, I got to grab John a shirt. That's awesome. So, uh, I appreciate yeah, it. I Thank you. No problem Absolutely. at all. Absolutely. All right. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Yeah. Appreciate you guys watching. And uh, yeah, I don't know how you close, but uh, you can close mine out too. Rajo. Yeah. So um, yeah, this, uh, this shirt's going to be uh, probably worn out quicker than you think. If you guys like this type of content, you know, of, uh, you know, fellow YouTubers getting together and uh, doing some collaboration videos, especially when it's something cool like this. Like we, we actually took a project, a legitimate thing that he needed done, and we turned it into, I think, uh, some pretty decent YouTube content for you guys to watch. The collaboration thing, I've had a really good time today with Kirk, and um, yeah, yeah, it, it would be cool to do a, a bit more of that. I'll tell you, and um, in the future, what do you think, Kirk? You you want to uh, do a little bit of collaboration video, maybe in your yard, uh, doing uh, some sure. of the stuff that you guys do on a regular basis? Yeah, yeah, definitely. Yeah, definitely. that that would be a really cool thing. He's got some fun equipment, a lot, a lot bigger, and a lot more fun down at his yard. What are you um, doing Monday? Um, I'm gonna be working, unfortunately. Uh, so well, we got a tub grind coming up Monday. Oh, We're gonna get be out. grinding molds. Oh, so. that's so cool. Yeah, <laughs> see, that that's a whole new thing. That's so, uh, the, the the tub grinder. That's what stumps. Oh uh, well, we take uh, we take brush and and so basically for all the tree people that are watching on your channel, we take everything that you don't want for you know splitting firewood, all that branches, all the brush. We take that. We throw it through the tub grinder. We take chips. We throw that to the tub grinder and we make mulch. We also do firewood. So, you know, maybe if some of the viewers like to see uh, a timber wolf in action, or if any of you have had a lot of firewood, which we'll do about 200 cords a year, uh, you'll know that when you're getting to that last little bit, all that bark is starting to fall off and it yes. gets pretty dirty. We actually have a drop screener that we take and we'll screen out our wood at the end of the season. Uh, get the tree in there? Yep. Yeah. yeah, I know, I know, another blooper.